Hi, it's me again. It's Friday night and I'm sitting here home alone shooting a video. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Guys, every like, every subscribe really does help a lot. It helps me to continue doing this research so you don't have to. So thank you so much. One of the very first things uh, that shook me when I started getting credit cards in this country was uh, the spending limits that the credit cards were offering. Uh, my very first credit card was a Quicksilver uh, by Capital One. Uh, that was only $500 because it was my very first credit card. But then the second one uh, that I still have up to this day was the American Express uh, Blue Cash. And that is $5,000. So I thought it was a good idea to show you guys what's my actual uh, credit limit among all my credit cards. And also give you a good idea what I think about them. So without any further ado, let's see the credit cards and get back to wrap it up. As I mentioned before, my second credit card that I still have to this day is the American Express Blue Cash. Um, it has $5,000 credit limit. And honestly, I think this is a great all around credit card uh, with that 3X on groceries and gas. It's, it's just incredible uh, for a non-annual fee credit card. Uh, the second credit card I got was, this, was the Southwest Priority that has a $6,900 uh, limit and this is a god tier credit card. I don't know what you think about Southwest. It doesn't matter. This is not about Southwest that I do really love. But as credit card, especially when we're talking about air travel, there's no better credit card that offers what this credit card does. It's 149 annual fee. Uh, credit card but it gives you 7500 points 75 dollars so immediately you're way over your spending limit just from that and i'm not including priority boardings uh and everything else that uh, comes with this credit card the third credit card i got was the freedom unlimited by chase uh that has an 8.2 thousand dollar uh credit limit and this is just okay guys this credit card is just to fill up the gaps uh, nothing special to it and I could live without it but it's good to have then I woke up one day and I said okay there's a 524 rule and now it's time to uh, jump to the business credit cards of Chase so I can get the maximum value of all of them the next one in line is the Inc preferred that has a six thousand dollar limit and this is an excellent credit card 3x on travel uh, the same as the um, uh, reserve so this is the credit card I get always with me when I travel especially internationally after this I got the uh, ink unlimited uh, this is the same like the freedom unlimited 1.5 on everything so it's just an okay credit card only three thousand uh, dollars spending limit and these spending limits keep in mind they're low because when I applied for this credit card my business my business um, was only making like $5,000. So this is why they have low credit limits. My sixth credit card was the Inc. Business Cash. And this is a very good credit card, guys. Uh, that 5X it has on uh, internet, uh, phone bills. Um, it has 2X on gas. Uh, so it's a very decent credit card, especially if you think that it's a non-annual fee credit card. And these credit cards came uh, with great sign-up bonuses back then. Um, and I would suggest that you wait until you get this ones. I, I'm pretty sure they're gonna go back to their original offerings at some point. My seventh credit card is the God Tier. My favorite hotel chain, the World of Hyatt. Uh, guys, I, I don't know what to say about this credit card really. Uh, 9X uh, every time you spend on uh, Hyatt, one night free. It's just an incredible credit card. It's an incredible hotel chain. I really enjoy them. Uh, it's God tier. It's up there. Uh, 5,000 limit. So not too much, but okay, it's decent. My eighth credit card was uh, the Freedom 
and this is an excellent credit card 5x on rotating categories no annual fee credit card incredible uh, 9.7 thousand uh, dollars my spending limit on this one and then i changed my subfire preferred to the freedom flex so 7.2 thousand is the spending limit this is an excellent credit card like the freedom it's redundant uh, but I didn't want to just cancel it because it would drop my uh, overall uh, limit and it would hurt my credit score. So there wasn't really no reason why not to downgrade to uh, a Freedom Flex. My next credit card, American Express Gold. God tier. If there's one God really true God tier credit card is the gold. The gold is recognizable everywhere if you want to flash to uh, someone for whatever reason this is the card to do it everybody in the world is familiar with this and the american version i think is the only one that has uh, that's metal so it's even flashier than other versions around the world so yeah it's the credit card to go the spending limit i have it as 10k but keep in mind that I called them because for some reason I don't see that option um, on my phone uh, to check the limit. Uh, so I called American Express for this and we started at 7,000, we went to 8,000 and I said, okay, just put 10,000 and it was still working. So at least 10,000 is my limit on the gold. Um, this is a charge card, of course. This is why it doesn't have a limit. Doesn't mean that it's unlimited in case you didn't know, but this is an excellent, excellent credit card. Then my 11th credit card was uh, the City American Airlines Advantage. Um, American Airlines, I mean, it's not my favorite uh, airliner, but it's very decent. Um, and the points uh, had some real value. So very happy overall with American uh, Airlines, but the credit card itself, it's, it's just, nah, it offers almost the same thing that every other credit card is offering uh, and it's $95 annual fee so once uh, the uh, uh, annual fee comes I will cancel this one. Uh, the 12th credit card I got was the American Express Platinum. This is an excellent credit card. I understand that it's not for everyone and you should understand that it's not built for everyone so don't get upset with American Express um, when they offer you all these extra things that maybe you think you're not gonna use it's not their fault this credit card is not for everyone uh, but this is an excellent credit card I have used most of uh, the credits it offers and I'm very happy 10,000 again I had I called and I asked American Express uh, if I can spend 10,000 on this credit card, if we'd, we'd go through, they said yes. So I'm putting this, it's possibly more, I don't know though. Then I got the uh, business cash. This is a very good credit card because it's 2X on everything and it doesn't have any annual fee. It gets American Express MR points. So it really feeds uh, both the platinum and the gold and it's a must have for a trifecta in my opinion. Then. Uh, I got the American Express uh, Priority. Uh, this one, guys, it's, a, it's an okay credit card. Honestly, um, they had this really nice offer, uh, $200 after spending $3,000 uh, in three months, uh, plus 20% up to $200 uh, for purchases on Amazon. So it was a no brainer for me. Uh, oh, and also uh, no annual fee for the first year. So it was a no brainer, at least for the first year. I will not be keeping this credit card after the first year. So, okay, $12.4 thousand is the spending limit. This is the highest I have possibly uh, in the whole collection. Um, and then lastly, uh, last week I applied for the City uh, Premier and it has 80,000 points, $800. Uh, cash value so it's a no-brainer again another credit card only 3,000 limit on this one so not very happy uh, but it's an excellent credit card it has 3x on gas restaurants uh, travel uh, for $95 it's an excellent credit card honestly so this this might end up being a keeper for me uh, we'll see so what's the total credit limit I have 100,000 
$100,900. So, yeah, yeah. I remember how excited I was when I got that very first American Express uh, blue cash and I had $5,000 and we went from $5,000 to over $100,000 right now and possibly more. Um, so yeah, if you feel comfortable saying it, please write it in the comments below. I would love to know uh, what's your total uh, spending limit on all your credit cards and how many do you have? I have 15 credit cards. Uh, so. 100,000 divided by 50, well, we have a decent amount, uh, about seven and a half thousand, right? Right? Like six and a half thousand. No wonder I'm not a mathematician. Please like, subscribe, especially subscribe. Guys, it really does help me. Thank you so much. Until the next one, ciao.